welcome to week two of my eight kilo uh, weight loss challenge. Um, I hope that you've been enjoying watching my previous videos and thank you for um, tuning into my channel. So um, this week, yeah, had a win, had a win. I was surprised because I did have a blowout on um, Saturday night, went out with my husband and friends and had a few drinks, came home, got stuck into the Nutella jar. Anyway, it was delicious. It was so delicious. But um, I've hidden that in the jar now. And um, I, I actually, I do know where it is. It's funny, hiding food from yourself. I know where it is, but I'm not gonna touch it because I can't see it. Um, anyhow, so, but the best thing was, I got up this morning, took my weight, and I was down 1.1 kilos. So yay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a happy dance. Oh yeah, go me. Go me, go me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, enough of that. Okay, so last week I was 76.8 kilos. This week I'm down to 75.7, so yeah. And uh, I've lost 10 and a half centimeters off my whole body. So um, yeah, so three centimeters off my chest, five centimeters off my waist, two centimeters off my arm, half a centimeter off my upper thigh, upper thigh. Hey, it's a win, I'm gonna take it. My hips stayed the same. So, um, you know, can't win them all. But anyway, it's all good. Uh, okay, so um, I'm not doing this challenge to be stick thin. I am uh, five foot eight. I'm quite a muscular person. I am not, um, I'm, I'm quite broad. So I'm, I'm, I'm a um, solid, solid build. That's what I'm looking for. I'm a solid build. So I'm never going to be, you know, um, wafer thin. I don't want to be wafer thin. Uh, my body's not meant for that. My body is, is a different build. Yeah, I've got an athletic build. And uh, I just want to be uh, nice and lean and um, comfortable in my own skin. So just to uh, confirm that I am... Uh, this is, you know, it's a positive body image that I am looking for. I am um, not looking for an, um, uh, to be too skinny. That's not what this is for. I want to be um, a nice healthy weight um, and, uh, you know, with muscle definition um, for my height and my, my body make, so my body type. Um, so, you know, there are... Um, Anyone out there watching this, um, I don't, I don't want to, <coughs> excuse me, convey the wrong, convey the wrong message. Okay, um, we're all different body types. I'm, you know, I'm athletic build, so I want to look lean like an athlete, like I used to. Uh, no, it's taken me ten years to, you know, lose weight. I was eighty kilos after my last um, baby. I have three children. Uh, my son, eldest, he's uh, 27. He's got his own little girl, so we've got a granddaughter as well. Um, I have uh, an older daughter. She is 23, and our youngest is nine, turning 10 next month. So you know, it's it, it's been a, it's been 10 years in the making, and uh, I've tried everything, tried everything, but um, this what I'm doing now is uh, is starting to work. So I will go into that soon. Anyhow. Um, and with the blowout, I don't, I don't want to feel guilty because you know, I didn't, I wouldn't have probably lost much more than 1.1 in in that week anyway. So, uh, you know, it's just like okay, put it down to data, uh, move on. It's done and dusted, and um, you know, next meal is going to be perfecto. Okay, so back on track. Um, all right. So what I did to uh, lose my weight. Um, is I added more whole foods so I added you know more vegetables more fruits uh, meats and poultry fish and seafood um, I added nuts and seeds which I love beans and lentils um, sort of learning still learning how to cook lentils but you know um, I'm getting there and uh, you know whole intact grains that you soak before you uh, cook like uh, quinoa and, and um, you know black rice and that sort of stuff and uh, minimally oh I got that word out minimally processed dairy so you know Greek yogurt which I have and um, block cheese 
Uh, so what I did, I, um, you know, and I also ate um, uh, raw peanut butter. I love raw peanut butter. I just, it's my favorite go-to food. I just, I will eat it by the spoonful. No, no joke. I love it that much. I'm like little kids. Like, oh, just give me some more. Give me some more. Love it. Anyway, um, you can't eat too much because then your mouth sticks together. <laughs> That's never fun. Anyway, um, so I cut out because over Christmas I'd put on, um, I was 71 kilos on my way to because my goal weight is 68 kilos so I was on my way there and I was you know I was 71 and a half kilos before Christmas and I was so excited that because I never since I've had my um, youngest daughter I've never been that uh, back down there so I was so excited and just doing simple changing changing habits um, you know I'm a personal trainer I'm a nutrition coach um, you know, I've been in the industry for 12 years and I was doing everything that I thought, you know, I was eating healthy. I wasn't always eating junk and stuff like that. So that wasn't the problem. I just wasn't eating the right way. So, and I wasn't eating as healthy as I thought. Um, you know, I was trapped into thinking that healthy foods were healthy foods because it said it on the packet. Well, not necessarily. Always learn to read, um, ingredient list because that's really really important and I'll get to that in uh, a sec so anyway I um, I've struggled with my weight for at least nine years um, so I, I would get down to you know I got down to uh, 78 kilos then I'd get down to 76 75 and then I'd shoot back up again for some reason so it was like why why um, anyway so when I started doing what I'm doing now, um, then I started to see the weight drop down and it was not a lot of effort either and I wasn't starving, I was still eating um, enough food and I wasn't cutting out any, um, any nutrients out of my diet at all, I, I don't believe in doing that. Um, so, and I don't, I mean, I don't eat bread, so I must say, I don't eat bread, um, so, but I don't, I've not always, I've not, I've never eaten bread really. So it's not something that I cut out. Um, it, you know, it you, you don't really need bread in, in your diet. I mean, it's just, um, you know, there are, better, there are other carbohydrates that you can have that are better than bread. So anyway, um, other than that, I have, you know, I do have, I, I have black rice, I have whole grain pastas. I don't eat them every day though. Um, that's another point but I do have lots of vegetables and fruits so I'm getting my um, you know my carbohydrates um, there anyhow so I'm just looking out because I don't want to miss anything um, that I want to tell you so I've just got a few things written down that um, I wanted to you know throw out there um, and sometimes I get so excited when I'm doing a video I forget everything and I just don't <laughs> say what I wanted to say so I thought you know what Write it down, Janine. Uh, that way you shouldn't forget anything. Okay, so they're in little point forms. So what I did is um, over Christmas, I getting back to over Christmas, uh, you know, people come around, you've got family, you've got friends um, visiting on Christmas Day, and it's such a wonderful day because everyone gets together. You know, you've got, my, we had 40 people here. My husband has a really big family. He's got five siblings. Um, they've all got children. Their children have all got children because they're all grown children. You know, have my mum and dad, his mum and dad. Um, you know, so it was fantastic to have everybody uh, around and together I love I really love Christmas it's the best time of year just and, and just being around people it's the best it's the best thing about Christmas you know I don't even care about the presents I love to give presents I love to give presents to the children and just watch them open them and their eyes light up um, but yeah mine is my present is just having everyone together in the one place because you know you'd, you life is busy and we don't always get to see each other so it's really nice to to get everyone together and um just in the one place have a drink you know and um share some really good food and just um share some stories anyhow so um you know you always eat foods that you don't usually eat um you know and, and all processed foods obviously you know you've got the lollies and you've got the chips and you've got the little bickies and you've got the mince pies and puddings and all that sort of stuff so um, you know one day leads to the next day to the next day to the next day which then becomes a bit of a habit so you know for two weeks I was probably eating stuff that I 
normally don't eat. Um, so I've cut that out altogether. Now, I don't advise people that eat processed foods um, all the time to cut it out straight away because um, you're going to like a bit of a detox. Sugar's, you know, sugar's like a drug. The, the more you have, the more you want. Um, and you know, you'll get headachey and you'll get lethargic, um, you'll get moody, um, you know, so it is not, it's just do a little bit by little bit. So each day, um, you know, try to replace, um, you know, this processed food, whatever that may be, with a whole food. Um, you know, the next day try and do the same thing. So add whole foods in to your diet, um, and that way you, you won't even have to think about taking processed foods out because you won't have them, you won't eat them. There'll be none of that, oh, I can't have this, can't have that. If someone tells me, Janine, you can't have that, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna say, oh, I don't think so. I'm gonna eat what I want and you're not gonna tell me what to, what to eat. So, you know, there's always that mentality and um, that's what, not what I'm here to do. I, you know, I want you to add good foods into your diet, add whole foods, um, you know, that way you're getting enough fiber, you're getting your nutrients, you're getting, um, you know, enough protein, you're getting carbohydrates, you're getting good fats in your diet. And you know, you're getting antioxidants and um, vitamins and minerals. So it's really important, um, you know, whole foods are just the whole package really when you when you think about it. Um, so yeah, so yeah, took out the uh, processed foods and you know, lollies, I love lollies, but you know, I can't have them. I just can't have them in the house because I would eat the whole packet in one go and then I'd be sick and you know, regretting that I did that. It's like when I was 18 and I go out with my girlfriends, you know, and I'm so excited because I can drink alcohol, yeah. And then I drink too much and I'm, you know, throwing up in the bathroom thinking I shouldn't have that last one and I'm never drinking again. You've probably been there. I know I have a few times. You always end up going back out there again. Anyhow, so I'm like that with lollies. Can't do it. So, um, what I did also, I ate all my meals slowly. So um, I take about 20 minutes to eat my dinner and my lunch. Breakfast, I've got to eat quickly because I start at 5.30, so I'm up at 4.30 every morning. Um, you know, I don't want to fuss around too much with breakfast, so I just tend to eat that quite quickly. Sometimes I might have a um, you know, protein shake. It depends on how much time I've got or if I've hit the snooze button a few too many times. I'm sure we've all done that. It's like, oh, I don't want to get out. I hate getting up at that hour. I love what I do and I love helping people. Um, you know, I get a real thrill about it, the thrill of helping people. I just, it's just, I don't know, I just love it. Um, it's the best part about my job. But I hate that part, getting up that early. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So anyway, I, um, so dinner and... Um,